Hello, welcome back, Regal Smith here, and today I'm gonna to teach you about emotional aromatherapy and how you can shift your mood in an instant using essential oils. And there's actually quite a bit of science behind this. So for instance, if you were to inhale citrus oils, you can actually look on a brain scan and see the serotonin levels, which is the happy hormone in your brain, increase. And if you were to use wood essential oils like we talked about last week, they're very earthy and grounding and they help you feel rooted. They're also very restorative. Whereas if we were to use floral oils, they're very healing to the body. For instance, a, a broken heart, emotionally healing to the heart as well as physically healing. They're also incredible for hormone health. So in today's lesson, I'm gonna teach you about the emotional aromatherapy line from doTERRA. I'm gonna have this cheat sheet on my blog. I printed it out, I'm almost out of ink, so it didn't show up completely. But this is a great way that'll show you about the six oils I'm gonna teach you about. And it breaks you up into mints, floral, tree, herbs and grasses, spices, and citrus. And you can look on the emotional therapy wheel about how you're feeling and then it'll sync it up with the mint oil or the tree blend, the florals. It'll just sync it up to one of these six essential oils. So for instance, if you were feeling gloomy or discouraged, citrus oils would be great for that. And the recommendation would be cheer blend, which is our uplifting blend. If you were to feel like you were grieving, on the other hand, you would need something deeper like the tree oils and that would be the console, the comforting blend. So let's learn a little bit about these six essential oils. They come either in the roll-ons, which is called the touch. So these are great for rolling on your body. They're pre-diluted with fractionated coconut oil. So if you know you're gonna just be rolling them on your wrists and behind your ears, you'll wanna consider the touch version. If you uh, know you want to diffuse them, wear them and use them in bath salts or any other applications, room sprays, then you would get the five milliliter bottle. So this would be the uh, undiluted. They're all undiluted actually, except for the passion. There's a little bit of fractionated coconut oil in the five ml of passion to help the oils play nicely together. But the other ones would be the undiluted version. So that's the difference between these two. Get the 5 ml if you know you want to diffuse it and wear it and use it in DIY projects. If you're just going to put it on your body, then just get the touch version. So let's start with my personal favorite. And if we're going in rainbow order, it would be the red. That would be the way my daughter would say we should explain these. And this is the passion blend. It is the inspiring blend. It is great for emotions like feeling disconnected, bitter, bored, disinterested. It helps to kind of get those creative, inspiring juices going. It has a mix of cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, clove, sandalwood, jasmine, vid vanilla, and damiana. And to me, it smells sexy. It's one of the oils that I love to wear on date night or just because I'll roll it on my wrist, right behind my ears. If you don't have the touch version, you can just dab from the bottle and wear it. I have it diffusing. It is a great one to diffuse around Valentine's Day, which is just around the corner. If you're looking for more specific, maybe uh, sexy, spicy, spice up the bedroom essential oil blends, I will have an ebook for that linked in this blog about the emotion oils, but at the very bottom of that blog, linked under this YouTube video, you can get that ebook for some spicy Valentine's recipes. But this one is just one of my everyday go-tos. It smells, sweet with a vanilla and jasmine, but then it comes in with those spicy oils, which I'm always a fan of, like the ginger and cardamom. And I absolutely, I just love this one. It also smells great in bath salts or sugar scrubs. So that's another option to use your oil. Next we have Motivate, and this is your get it done oil. So if you're just feeling, let's see what it says on our chart. Apathetic, discouraged, gloomy, things of that nature. Let's just get it going. Let's get some motivate. Maybe you have a big project to get done. I'm currently packing to go on a, a vacation at the end of the week and I have a lot of projects to do for you guys to get information out to you, but also um, through the rest of my business, cleaning, packing, and I have motivate diffusing in my bedroom right now where I'm packing and it is bright. There's a lot of citrus and mint in here. So we have in here, dun, 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 peppermint. Clementine, coriander, basil, yuzu, melissa, rosemary, and vanilla. So kind of an inter interesting combination. 
But when I smell Motivate, I smell mostly citrus with a hint of mint. So great one to put in the diffuser, maybe if the kids are needing some motivation to clean, get their homework done, things of that nature. Next we have Cheer, and it is just as cheerful as it sounds. Of course it's going to have some citrus in here. It smells bright, it smells fresh, it has a hint of spice in here. This is great if you're feeling gloomy, distressed, somber. And the blend in here, we have wild orange, clove, star anise, which I don't really smell, lemon myrtle, nutmeg, vanilla, ginger, cinnamon bark, and the Zadarves. I don't know what that is, but I can tell you that it smells delicious. It's cheerful, it's fun. This is a great one to roll on your wrists just to kind of brighten your day. I'm a huge fan of citrus oils in general. You can often see me just grabbing wild orange, tangerine, lemon, any citrus oil I can get my hands on and just wearing citrus and floral. Those are my go-tos personally and then citrus oil in my diffuser. So this is a fun, cheerful blend. It's a great one to give as a gift if somebody's had a promotion, a graduation, you know, something to celebrate in life. It's a great one to gift in those instances. Next we have Forgive, and I think we could all use a little forgiveness. And when you look at the blends in Forgive, it's a combination mostly of the tree oils and grasses. So we have that really rooted, helping us feel secure oils, and then grasses, which are very healing to the body. This is a great one to rub on your liver. So our liver is sometimes where we harbor feelings of anger. So in Forgive, it's if we feel bitter, angry, ashamed, or even a little bit sad. So Forgive is surprisingly a delicious aroma. It's not one I would think that I would be drawn to when I look at the list of ingredients. It smells fresh and bright, a little bit sweet, but definitely grassy. I don't smell a lot of the wood oils. I mean, it doesn't smell like a strong wood, fir tree, or balance oil, anything like that. But it is like a sweet grass, maybe almost like you're outside on a summer's day and you, you smell the grass, but not fresh cut grass. It is one that there was a season in my life where I wore almost every day the Forgive Touch and the Rose Touch roll on on my heart. So rose on my heart, forgive on my wrist. I was working through some things. It smelled really comforting and delicious to me. And there are certain combinations when I wear them in public, people will chase me down. They'll chase me down in Target or the grocery store and they'll ask me, what are you wearing? And that combination of forgive and rose, I had men and women chasing me down. So maybe we all you know, need a little more forgiveness in our life, but it's, it's absolutely a delicious aroma. And the combination of oils in here, we have spruce, bergamot, Juniper berry, myrrh, arborvitae, nanuku, thyme, and citronella. So when I smell it, there's none of those that I can pick out individually. It's such a unique aroma. And I'm sure everybody's nose is a little bit different, but it smells lightly grassy and sweet to me. And for some reason, I love it. So forgive is another option. Next we have peace. So if you want to feel a little bit of peace, maybe you're feeling scattered, maybe you're going to go do some calming stretches or meditation and prayer, peace is a great one to put right here on your forehead, on your heart, to diffuse it. It really helps to bring a room into peace and calming, just kind of this nice peaceful feeling. It has a combination of the mints and florals. For if you're feeling anxious, fearful, worried, or insecure, this is one that I used to use on my little one when she was a baby, like a baby baby. I have a really short YouTube video. I'll see if I can link it, if I can find it. It's like 10 seconds long where she's crying and fussy and I just hold a little piece of oil in front of her nose and immediately she stops and just smells it and kind of brings it closer and closer. It has that immediate effect on both adults and children, I have discovered. So great one to diffuse. It's called the Reassuring Blend. It has in here vetiver, which you can definitely strong. Vetiver is a really deep rooted, it's a root. A little bit grassy, a little bit tree smelling to me. Lavender, alang alang, frankincense, clary sage, marjoram, marjoram, labdum, and spearmint. So it smells earthy to me, very strong on the vetiver, which is extremely calming. This is a great one to maybe even apply to the bottoms of your feet especially your big toe before bed. It will have a nice calming effect on the nervous system. You could try it with or without serenity oil for sleep and just feel a little bit more peace in your life. 
And the final oil is Console. And Console is just what it sounds like. It is great for when you're feeling hurt, grieving, sad, worried. It's a combination of the florals and the tree oils. It is extremely comforting. It's the comforting blend. This is one I keep extras on hand if somebody has had a loss of a family member, a friend, pet, a death in the family. I send this with a nice little card. It's a nice one to gift to people. You know, no essential oil can take that grieving or loss away, but some of these oils can help feel almost like a warm hug. I feel like console is a warm hug. It's a very heavy, like heavy, deep aroma. It's not one that I'm drawn to very often. Thankfully, I, I haven't been grieving anything lately, um, but just when I'm in that state of deep, deep sadness, console is the hug of essential oils. And it has in here, frankincense, of course, patchouli, alang alang, labdum, am amorous, sandalwood, rose, and osmanthus. I don't smell a lot of the florals. They're kind of over, overtaken by some of those tree and some of those earthy oils. It is a really lovely and comforting blend. So let me know if you've tried these. Drop below your favorites if you've tried one of these six of the Emotional Aromatherapy Oils. You can buy them individually, either in the Roll-On Touch or the 5 mLs for diffusing and others, or you can buy them in a set. So either the set of the 5 milliliter or the set of the Touch. If you don't have a wholesale account with doTERRA yet, I can help you set up one for free. You don't have to purchase monthly, just purchase as much or as little as you want and save 25% off wholesale. You can find that linked below on my website, blissmama.com, along with a blog of a write-up of special uses for each of these essential oils. We'll see everyone next time and thanks for watching.